The next case is agenda item number three. It's the City of Valdosta case. Final action for the City of Valdosta. Mayor Council will be Thursday, December 5th at Valdosta City Hall. Um, case number CU 2013-04. Stephanie, if you'll please present this case. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. This is a request for conditional use approval for a personal care home for uh, six people uh, located in an Arkin zoning district. Subject property is located at 808 Bethune Street. This is along the northerly side of the road, approximately 350 feet east of Lake Park Road. Um, subject property contains an existing single-family residence of about 1,500 square feet and four bedrooms. Applicant is proposing to convert the dwelling into a personal care home with four adult persons who are developmentally disabled. Uh, property has a small, dilapidated driveway. I think on the um, aerial map, and then here's the subject property. Um, a very small front yard, um, no paved driveway, it has sort of a substandard driveway on its northern side. Um, applicant is proposing to install two short driveways in the front corners of the property. And I think there's a site plan. There we go. Uh, there you see the existing house. You can see that it's not very far from the road itself. Um, we've had several discussions with applicant on how best to accommodate it. One solution we thought of was perhaps a circular drive, uh, which is not <laughs> uncommon for a use of this nature. But that would simply, you know, take up a whole front yard with pavement. Um, since they do not need a whole lot of parking for this use, um, and there was already an existing curb cut for the existing driveway, as well as another curb cut to the side, <coughs> the installation of two short driveways for two vehicles seemed to be the best solution. As you can see on that survey drawing, it is located very tight with the side property lines, and there's really just no way to get to the backyard, uh, which otherwise would have room for the parking. Personal care homes of a small nature are allowed by conditional use and single family districts. Um, the intent is that they function more like a household um, with a small number of residents, and that you not have too many of these within the proximity of one another. Um, in your packet, I think on page four, are some supplemental regulations regarding personal care homes. The applicant is proposing one of these small sizes. Um, staff is recommending approval of it with three conditions. The first one is conditional use approval shall be granted for a personal care home with no more than four residents plus one resident manager. And number two is to pay both driveways as depicted on the proposed site plan and as approved by the city engineer. There shall be no parking in the unimproved or grass areas of the front yard. Number three, conditional use approval shall expire after two years if personal care home is not licensed and operating by that date. The applicants are in the audience. If you have questions for them, otherwise I'd be glad to try and answer any additional questions you might have. Are there any questions for the staff, Mr. Willis? I looked in the back and I saw where these were residents coming from Southwestern State Hospital. Yes, sir. These are people that the state deems um, able to live in this kind of environment, otherwise they would not place them in these homes. Yeah. Uh, in the last page in your packet, I did give you some background information on the closing of that facility. Mm -hmm. That's what I, when I was um, that question, I don't yeah. know what, that was the reason I asked that question. And personal care homes have to be licensed by the state, yeah. and they have a far more rigorous review process than the city does. Okay. So, well, I just wanted to Yes, sir. Well, we thought about that. We have to take comfort in knowing that the state not only licenses these but inspects them on a regular basis. All right. Thank you. All right. Any other questions for the staff? Yeah. Well, he'll call for you know, in just a moment. There's no other questions uh, for the staff. One question. I'm just curious, man. The supplemental use it says that the lot has to be one acre minimum. That is okay. There's three different sizes of personal care homes. What we call family, group, and congregate. That's basically small, medium, and large. Okay. Family is the small size. That's what's being proposed. And then some of those standards in there apply only to the medium and the large size, such as the larger lots. There. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Good afternoon. Uh, my name 
was sent here like this, uh, and I'm the one that folded for the personal care home. I have three individuals that in one of my personal care homes that will be moving in that home. These individuals are very quiet, no problems. So the ones over here from Southwestern will be at my other home with the paper problems. Are there any questions from the presenters, from the commissioners? Uh, Mr. Chairman, may I ask yes. you, um, uh, how long have you been in this business? 34 years. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Thank you. All right, thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will now close the public participation portion of this application. Uh, discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. There being no discussion, I will now entertain a motion from the commissioners. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we accept uh, this request. All right, we have a motion by Mr. McClendon. Okay. To include the conditions? Does it include the conditions as recommended by staff? Is that what your motion is? We can handle the conditions too. They feel good. Conditions also. We take it with the conditions and move it forward. I'll second. Okay. Was, that was Ms. Willis, Mr. Bailey. We have a motion by Mr. McClendon with the conditions and a second by Mr. Willis. Is there any discussion on this motion? Is there any none? All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your hand. The motion passes unanimously. <coughs> the uh, fourth item on the agenda is can